So the first thing you're going to need to do to do the special effects look is you need to make sure that your nails are short and you could technically do this on another finger but it works better if it's on your thumb because that's the place that normally tends to get hit by hammers rather than your index finger or any other finger so I'm going to be doing this on my thumb and I'm going to be using scar wax for this and scar wax is a little bit of a tricky material to work with I will be using my fingers to blend things out later but you want to really start off with some kind of metal tool because it is going to stick to your fingers it doesn't like heat very much it's going to get very sticky so you're going to want to use something metal like a small sculpting tool and I'm going to apply a really large chunk of it on one side of my thumb and then build it up later on the other side and we want to try and make it look as if your thumb has quite literally been squashed and all the meat and all the blood has just been flattened out and shoved to the side around your nail and that your nail has cracked essentially. So once you've surrounded it with all the scar wax you want to scrape away the underneath just to increase that illusion that your thumb has been flattened out. Now after this we're going to go and move on to the false nail and what you want to do is just take an ordinary false nail, it doesn't have to be a special brand or anything expensive, just take a regular false nail and you're going to rip it up from the centre so that it looks like it's cracked right in the middle. To stick down the false nail there's two different things you can use. You can use nail glue or you can use eyelash glue. I prefer eyelash glue because it makes it a little easier to get everything off afterwards. Make sure that you press the false nail into the scar wax a little bit just to increase that look that the nail has just been smashed into your finger. And then I'm going to be using my fingers very quickly to blend out the scar wax. You don't really want to keep your fingers on the scar wax for too long. If you're going to blend it out, do it in quick little motions, otherwise that scar wax is going to stick to your finger and it's going to get pulled apart. Next I'm going to be using fake blood. Now if you don't have fake blood, food colouring will work as well, but bear in mind that this can stain your finger. And I'm just going to add the food colouring underneath the nail around it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little gap between the nail and my real finger and then I'm going to add this redness all the way around the thumb. To add the redness around the thumb there's three different things you can use. You can use the fake blood that you've been using at first, you could also use some cream makeup or you could use some lipstick and that's something that most people are likely to have so either of them will work, whatever you have to hand and whatever works better for you. And try and make it look like all the blood has been forced out of the thumb really quickly and then it's kind of come back and it's come back a little bit splotchy. A little bit like when you get a bruise and there's a bit of a dappling effect on the skin. And try and replicate that on your thumb. And other than that, you're done.